Hey everybody, thanks for watching. We're at the Grand Traverse County Civic Center in Grand Traverse County, funnily enough, talking about parks. And by the way, I didn't find this out until today. This is the largest park in the county, about 43 acres. With us is the head of Parks and Recs, uh, Christine Erickson. How are you? I'm good, thanks. All right, it's master plan time for the county. And to get ready for that, you're sending out a survey. Let's talk about that. What is the survey? The survey will ask questions about user sh usership of our parks, um, what folks enjoy about our parks, what li they'd like to see improved, how they use our parks. Uh, we'll ask about programming because we have several organizations provide programming in our parks. All right, let me stop you there. What do you mean by programming? For instance, we have the soccer fields on okay, Keystone, right. and um, it's called the T-Base Soccer Complex. Right. And T-Base actually runs all of that for us, keeps the grounds, they do everything. Maybe we might have to replace a sign now and then or whatever, but but I also just want to take this advantage of this minute to um, clarify, this is not the largest park in the county. Actually, the largest would be the Nature Education Reserve, which now, is part of that Keystone Corridor where the, the T-Base soccer complex Hold on a second, is. because I heard that this was the largest park in the county on the radio, and as we know, oh. if it's on radio, it's all true. Right, right. <laughs> well, in the city. In the city, it's probably uh, the largest. See, I wasn't listening this morning. I didn't have my ears on this morning. So this is the largest park in the city, but not in the county. Correct. Okay, all right. So uh, you're, you're going to survey people about things they like, maybe they don't like, so you can change it because so, you have a master plan we coming up. We have a master up. plan that we're working on, and we also want to know if people even know of our parks. There, are, ah. We have 10 parks, and I'm not sure that everybody knows all of them. Um, that we're, we're um, lucky enough to have. Well, so, let's put it in this perspective. I've lived here for 20 years, and I, I now could name two. So, right. So which ones? Uh, well, <laughs> F&M Park, but that's in the city. No, that's a city park. Grand Traverse County Civic Center. Correct. And I didn't even know that was a park until today, and, so I can't name any. Well, we talked about Power Island earlier. Oh, that's Power Island. Yeah. Okay, all right. <laughs> but I didn't realize that was a park. It is a park. Okay, It see? is a park. So, yeah. So our master planning process is important to us. It's um, it'll be our blueprint to follow for the next five years. Right. It will contain wishes and wants and needs for our parks. Um, and the reason we have a five year master plan is is well the one I just named, but also because um, the, we file it with the state, with the Michigan Department of Natural right, Resources, right. and then we have granting opportunities okay. if we have that report filed. So it needs to be filed in early 2018. And so we're, we're just getting started with everything, and we should have probably started a few months earlier. But the first step in the process is to survey the community. We'll have some public meetings. I'm going to meet with our user groups who um, use our parks to provide programming. Right. We essentially um, rent out our spaces and our facilities for programming. And then the organization will bring the, the expert at it will bring the programming, like with soccer right. or here, um, American Legion Baseball and you know, the other, the Y softball, things like that. Right. Okay, so now when you talk about the community, for example, I live in Leelaw County, but I'm in Traverse City every day. Can I take the survey? I don't think we would limit it to just everybody in this county. We right. certainly would consider consider that. Um, of course, we're going to target our county. Right. But if you use the parks, we want to hear about right. what you want. And we do use the parks. We use it for baseball for the kids. We use it for flag football. And we use the skate park, which, by the way, hats off to the county, because the skate park in our household it gets an A+. Plus. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. It is quite popular. And and the Tart Trail connects all of us anyway. The Tart Trail connects Leelanau County. Tart right. is one of our, our major partners. And so it just makes sense that, you know, people who are connected and who come here often, we want to hear about what you'd like to see and, and what so you enjoy already we're here at the largest park in the city owned by the county it's very confusing and this is a marker tree here from uh in the in the civic center and this is uh, special quickly. it's it is a native american marker tree used hundreds of years ago by native americans on the path um, from detroit to mackinac oh and it would indicate it wasn't always a directional for directional use sometimes it would indicate that there is a cache nearby maybe with food stored or maybe that there's water nearby so it's it's a it's a wayfinder or a place go. maker there you go so we give it honor by um we put a nice fence around it and there's some historical information so stop by and enjoy the peace 
of the uh, Native American marker tree here. So there you go. Just one of the many things you can learn about parks in Grand Traverse County. Christine, thank you. Thank you for the opportunity. Uh, in the largest park in the city of Traverse City, I'm Vic McCarty, My News 26.